Hi, I'm Ray Lawler. I'm the Asia Pacific CEO for Heinz. And these are my biggest lessons. Lead with commander's intent. I spent nine and a half years in the United States Marine Corps, and there was a concept called commander's intent. Commander's intent means leading with the why, not the how. In the chaos of battle or war, the battlefield is constantly changing. It's complex. It's time constrained. One must operate on the why and not the how, as the why is everlasting, but the how constantly changes. In business, it's shockingly the same. Focusing on the why in your day-to-day -day tasks will keep you focused. It will enable you to maximize the opportunity set and enable you to foster your own creativity, adaptability, flexibility, and entrepreneurial spirit. My next biggest lesson is journaling. I do it every day. What is journaling? Journaling to me is taking five to 10 minutes each day to write down my thoughts, to pause and to reflect. Why do I do it? I do it mainly for two reasons. One is focus and two is prioritization. On focusing, look, Asia is a big place. There are many different cultures. There are a lot of people here. There are a lot of things going on. It's very easy to lose focus if you don't write down what you should be focused on. Two, priorities. Priorities are constantly changing and they can be tricky. They evolve with time, with age, where you are in the business, where you are in a particular market cycle, and even who you're talking to. But my true north on priorities are quite simple. One, you should always put your health and your wellness first. If you put your health and wellness first, the work will definitely follow. So in summary, I journal to stay on track keep myself and my team focused and really set out the priorities, not only for the day, but for the month and the year ahead. Surround yourself with the best. I have been incredibly lucky to be surrounded by some of the best professionals in the business. Always have a next man up or man, woman up mentality. One way we can really look at finding the best talent is an old acronym I learned in the U.S. Marines. It is JJ Did Tie Buckle. JJ Did Tie Buckle stands for justice, judgment, dependability, initiative, decisiveness, tact, integrity, enthusiasm, bearing, understanding, courage, knowledge, leadership, and endurance. We can always hire folks with a great business acumen or a wonderful resume or the technical skills, but I have found that the best people possess these traits and qualities that enable them to last not only at Heinz, but in business overall. So one thing that you should take from anything that I say today is please surround yourself with the very best people and you will go far. Celebrate your success and your failures. I find it's very easy to focus on when you win or when you're successful, but it's much harder to focus on when you fail. In reality, failures aren't failures at all. They're really an opportunity to learn and springboard into the future. I often ask a new analyst, one that I'm interviewing, I say to him or her, would you like to be right 10 out of 10 times or 18 out of 20 times? when making an investment decision. That analyst that says they'd rather be right 10 out of 10 is usually probably not the right fit for our job here at Heinz because maybe they're too risk adverse. I'd rather someone be right more often than be right 100% of the time. So in summary, please celebrate the wins, but take the time to celebrate the failures. Pause, learn from them, take risks, Take chances. Those chances and those risks will be the springboard into your future. Coach and be coachable. I am a coach. 
I have been coached. I am a mentor, but I am also a mentee. At Heinz, but in all phases through my life, I've been incredibly fortunate to have amazing and one-of-a-kind mentors that have really fostered my career. I love mentoring my kids, my teammates, my colleagues at Heinz, but I equally love being mentored and coached by my kids, by my colleagues, and my teammates at Heinz. Mentorship and coaching is critically important. If you don't have a coach or you don't have a mentor, please go get one. Also, you learn a lot more from teaching than being taught.